hello guys and welcome back at Milton tutorials and toolpath this is our third video and this is our exercise number one in the last one video we discuss about that how we can create the job setup and we learn about the all the parameters all the things that we have to considering during the job setup and in this video we will create and we will learn about that how we can create the toolpath with the upper stream and the lower stream for the turning toolpaths so let we have to start that how we can create this so if you have any question or doubt on a previous both of tutorial 1 and tutorial 2 please ask on our comment section we will try to give you the answer as best as we can so now in this video we will learn about that how we can create the toolpath with the help of the upper stream first the facey and after that we will create a lower stream tool with the help of a lower stream that is roughing after that i will create a upper stream tool for the finishing and after that i will create a grooving tool path with the help of a lower stream so now let we have to create step by step so once i have to create the tool path so first we can in a milton we can as you we know that we can tool, create the tool path for the turning as well as the milling and for if we want to create tool path for the turning so we have to click on a general tool path and at here the first tool path that is known as a face we just have to click on a face once we click on a face there are the multiple kinds of tools are available and make sure we have to select a tool which that should be like in this format that should be available in this format we have to click on a tool once we select a tool after that we just have to say ok for example I just say ok so what is happening it's showing that is not a good format and that is getting to be accident I just say ok and keep this operation again I have to came in a parameter so basically what is happening that tool is currently available in this format but tool is when it's need to cut it should be required in this format so what we can do there are the two angles which are available in the spindle head in upper stream we can change these things we can change that angle and that angle can be changed by clicking right at here that A angle that we can define right at here and B angle we can define right at here so when we are working on a left spindle and upper turret or upper stream so that time we can use that angle is 90 and just say ok and again just say ok so now as you can see here have a look this is my tool is came cut and going back I have to came in a parameter once I came to the parameters I can define the reference point in a facing parameter all the parameters should be the same like as a lathe you have to define the entry amount the roughing step over overcut amount the retract value all parameters should be the same what is getting to be changed that is in a toolpath parameter there is a one window is getting to, or new option is available that is the tool angle which we have to defining that is the A angle and the B angle for this one we are defining the B angle and it is getting to be tilting like this generally that is when spindle is in this format that's in A uh, sorry it's in 0 degree but now tool is getting to be with like this one so it is getting to be angle is 90 so that's the thing that we have to perform so guys as you can see here this is getting to be perfectly all set the facing tool path is done once our facing tool path is done with the help of upper stream now we have to create a lower stream tool path and that tool path is known as roughing so we have to came on a rough when we click on a rough we have to select the two chain so I just select chain from this one to this one just say ok once I say ok after that we have to select as tool so this is my tool when in a insert there are the two colors one is yellow and second one is that kind of brown when it is on a yellow it means this insert is upper portion of my holder and when it is in brown it means it's in a down portion of my holder so now all the parameters should be the same like as the facing but the thing is getting changed when we are using with the help of a lower stream where we are using a turret so that time we have to define that which one spindle we are using with the help of a turret 
its left spindle or its right spindle. So for example, for now we are using the left spindle, so we are just defining the left spindle. We can define the reference position, this is my reference position. The rough parameter also should be same. Depth of cut is stop to leave on wall and floor, is stop to leave on Z. You stop from outer boundary and in lead in lead out, I just say it should be going extra 1 mm and just defining and just say okay. So now as you can see here, tool is coming, came from this one direction and as you can see here, the tool is in insert is in a brown format. So insert is in bottom. If insert is in a yellow, it means insert is in top. So all the things getting perfect and this is my facing roughing operation is done. After that we have to create the finishing toolpath. So just again click on a finish. Click from this to this just say ok. And again we have to just click on this one. Once I select this one we have to click on tool angle. Defining. Uh, what is defining this one angle and just say ok. So what is happening now B angle we are defining right at here we can define the 90 degree so again when we are using with the main stream so it is getting with the like this and after that we have to just say finishing parameter should be same like as this and then lead in and lead out I just defining the lead out and it should be 1 mm extra and just say okay. So now what is happening one of my toolpath is also created with the help of upper stream and that is successfully done. At here, if you want to add the reference position, we can just click on this one and add a reference position and just say OK, OK. OK, now as you can see, this is done by the help of upper. This is done with the help of a lower. Again, this is done with the help of upper. And I am planning to create the last one toolpath that is grooving with the help of again lower. So you can get an idea about that, how we can create the toolpath with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream both. So I want to create a toolpath with the lower stream. So I have to click on a groove, just select a chain and this chain be starting from this one to this and just say okay. Now right at here, I have to choose a tool and the tool should be in a proper way. If I want to make some changes on the tool, just click on this one and you can modify the length. For example, that from this one to this one, the length should be higher. So we can change this one length E. E value should be I just change the 20 in a holder the C value so C value I just make approx 18 just say ok and all the things should be the same like as previous the thing is that we can add on that is called a reference position this is working for the left spindle use from outer boundary smooth that is done that is done and all set perfect so as you can see here for the left spindle I create the total four number of toolpath just say ok and now I want to make all these four toolpath simulation and that simulation on a machine on a 3d simulation so that is first step when we are creating a Milton toolpath that we have to set make job setup the second step that we have to create a toolpath and for this one video we create a left spindle toolpath and now the third step is synchronization what is synchronization once we create the toolpath we have to click on a G1 once we click on a G1 now have a look all these toolpaths are right at available right at here and these toolpaths are now two toolpaths are in upper stream and two toolpaths are in lower stream now if we want to simulate these toolpaths just we have to click on a launch once I click on a launch so what is happening my new page or a machine is getting open and right at here as you can see here this is machine this is panel all these things are a perfect way now have a look the fixture okay set perfect now I just once I play on this one so what is happening my upper stream and lower stream both came to the action both want to cut my part but 
is it possible to cut both stream part at a single time that's time on a machine the accident will going to be happen it is lower stream is doing the roughing and upper stream is getting completed all these things so that is not a proper synchronization we need to synchronization that one in a proper way so what we have to do for doing the, that one thing synchronization we have to came on this one window right click on here expand all and now we have to start to synchronize it. that first toolpath that is face so I just say once my face toolpath is getting to be completed that time it can be done right at here the roughing can be start I just so told in the next once my roughing is getting to be completed then the finishing can be start so once roughing is completed so that time it is going to be synchronization with the finishing in next step I told that once my finishing is getting completed so that time grooving can be start it means one tool came to this point so that time that will start once tool came on this point so that time that will, that will start once tool came to this point that time that is start and that is known as a synchronization and that is the most important factor that we have to done in a mill time once we completed the synchronization in a perfect way we have to just click on a save once we click on a save so again launch button is getting to be highlighted and we can click on a launch button and perform a toolpath in a proper way now have a look again I just reduce the speed little bit and start so now what is happening when we start to simulate in last time so both, both upper stream and lower stream is going to near to work piece to cut but now this time that is not happening at here only the upper stream is going to cut my part now have a look it is going to be cut my face rough finish grow and all these things are getting done successfully so I hope you can get idea about that how we can create the synchronization how we can create this tool path with the help of a turning on a left spindle so if you have any question or if you have any doubt please ask us on a comment section we will try to best figure you out so thank you so much for watching this one video see you in the next video where we create a milling tool path for the left spindle uh, left spindle and after that we came to the right spindle and all these things we will do successfully so thank you so much for watching keep growing keep learning